Here's an electroscope not so different from the one sold by Arbor Scientific. I'm going to be using it to demonstrate the photoelectric effect, which is a modern physics concept now required to be taught by teachers of AP Physics and the Next Generation Science Standards. So basically, everybody. When you charge up an electroscope, it can detect static electric charge. It helps you scope it out. There you go. The more charge you put on it, the more deflection. In this case, I'm putting negative charge on it from this balloon. <laughs> there you go. And I can discharge it just by touching it. Now, I can also discharge it with light. That's the photoelectric effect. The way you do it is, take a, piece of, take a piece of metal that's sensitive to light, like zinc, and scrub it with some steel wool. This gets the oxygen layer off. Zinc oxide is not zinc. But zinc is zinc. Now we have zinc exposed to the light in the room. But the light in the room is not energetic enough to get the electricity off the zinc. So when I charge it up, I need to find some very good source of light. For example, ultraviolet light. Now I have an ultraviolet lamp right here, which I'll point at the camera and turn on, but I would never do this with your regular eyes, because the, uh, your regular eyes are, are going to be damaged easily by ultraviolet light. This is ultraviolet C. And that is the shortest wavelength of ultraviolet light that we usually use. There actually is a shorter wavelength called ultraviolet V for vacuum ultraviolet. But this one is uh, typical. Uh, in fact, this, uh, this lamp is sold as a germicidal lamp, as in it kills germs. Uh, specifically, it destroys the DNA in the germs. Anyways, now that the scope is charged, I can discharge it with the ultraviolet light. I think that test came back positive. Now you might wonder, is it really the ultraviolet light that's doing it? In my Willemite demonstration, I showed that there are, there's a type of ultraviolet light that's blocked by glass, that's the short wave, which means that I can prove that it actually is the ultraviolet light if I use glass and prevent it from happening. First, I'll show that the device itself is not discharging it. Nope, nothing. Now I put the glass in front, and I shine it, and nothing happens. But when I remove the glass, it discharges right away. This proves that it's the ultraviolet light, the short wavelengths that are doing it. Short wavelengths of light have a power that long wavelengths don't. They're more energetic, higher in frequency, and they have the energy required to liberate the electrons from the zinc. Now, I said electrons. What if I charged it positive? In this case, I have a fun fly stick, which doesn't produce negative charge, but positive charge. The balloon produces negative charge. When I put positive charge on the electroscope, it detects it just the same, but positive charge should not be able to be liberated by the photoelectric effect. Let's see. Come on. How, what's going on? Why isn't it working? Well, there's two reasons. One, the protons are stuck deep in the nucleus, and they can't be removed easily except by X-rays or gamma rays or radiation from in the nucleus itself or neutrons penetrating the nucleus. Generally, you're not going to get the protons out of the nucleus. And they're also really small in there, so you're probably not going to hit them anyways. But second of all, the electrons do get knocked out easily because electrons have such low mass. I repeat the experiment again, just to show that I'm not pulling a fast one on you, with electrons that I'm gathering on this balloon. All right. Goodbye, electrons. The photoelectric effect. Now this device, uh, I've managed to acquire it for about $13. How much would you expect to pay for it? Well, if you look up UVC lamps, you pay about $200 for them most of the time. And they even use the same device. The drawback is, it's not well shielded from the side view, which, uh, for example, if I hold it like this, I can see the light, which is bad. 
If you want to protect your eyes during these experiments, you can wear sunglasses, which of, co which of course do protect from UV light, and especially the uh, shorter wavelengths, they do a great job. So, well, that's enough. Yeah. Oh, I feel so safe now. Um, by the way, these lamps usually come with uh, a regular uh, light bulb in them, so feel free to just remove it and replace it with this one, which you have to buy separately.